A former top FBI official has been charged with violating U.S. sanctions against Russia. Charles McGonagall, who was in charge of counterintelligence in the FBI's New York field office, was arrested for violating U.S. sanctions against Russia over his work with Ola Deripaska, a sanctioned Russian oligarch. He was charged along with a court interpreter, Sergei Shestikov, who also had ties to Deripaska. Both men were charged for violating sanctions by taking payments from Deripaska, according to the FBI, in exchange for investigating a rival Russian oligarch. Deripaska was charged last year with violating U.S. sanctions. They both previously worked with Deripaska to attempt to have his sanctions removed and as public servants, they should have known better U.S. Attorney for the Southern District of New York, Damian Williams, said in a statement, This office will continue to prosecute those who violate U.S. sanctions and acted in response to Russian belligerents in Ukraine in order to line their own pockets. The indictment against McGonagall details how he supervised and participated in the investigation of Russian oligarchs, including Deripaska. The indictment claims that McGonagall and Shestikov agreed to investigate a rival Russian oligarch for Deripaska in exchange for payment. It also claims that the duo were actively trying to conceal the identity of Deripaska when negotiating the deal. The FBI alleges that the two attempted to conceal Deripaska's involvement by not directly naming Deripaska in electronic communications, using shell companies as counterparties in the contract that outlined the services to be performed using a forged signature on that contract and using the same shell companies to send and receive payments from Deripaska. Deripaska is a billionaire industrialist in Russia and was sanctioned along with dozens of others in 2018. His homes in New York and Washington were searched by the FBI in 2021. Deripaska is worth $1.7 billion, according to Forbes. McGonagall, 54, and Shestikov, 69, were arrested on Saturday, the FBI said. The two were charged with one count of conspiring to violate and evade U.S. sanctions in violation of the International Emergency Economic Powers Act EPA, one count of violating the EPA, one count of conspiring to commit money laundering, and one count of money laundering, each of which carries a maximum sentence of 20 years in prison. Chestikov is also charged with one count of making false statements, which carries a maximum sentence of five years in prison.